everyone can see yes sir screen wait i'll just make a full screen fine you can see everyone right yes sir okay i'll start fine yes sir please start okay now because of the narrow plot and i wanted to give some sculptural effect some kind of uh, 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 uh some kind of icon you know to be created over there so uh, i was carrying this drawing roll in my hand and suddenly uh the concept as i can say or the inspiration you know just started coming out okay, why don't i try some kind of this design and here we can see this was a handmade uh perspective created you know and uh, on this lines we worked out this plan and you know the because the we can't do much over here so we had and this open kind of floating staircase and entrance lobby foyer and the lifts and everything this is how an actual building was created at site almost the same lines and today also it is coming over there my point is only that ke we can the concept is derived you know by 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 keeping our eyes and mind open you know somewhere it is from the site somewhere it is from i was carrying a drawing roll in my hand and suddenly i thought why don't i try this one so very interesting the spike you can see which is bright red in color you know that time red or even today red is very very difficult to use by any architects so we were sitting on the uh, standing on the site and then suddenly a red ferrari passed by and my client was distracted and he said ke see the park you know this draw or this ferrari what a beautiful and i thought why don't i try with this red color on the top as a crown you know and this is how the crown was created red and it is today also really talk of the town the red crown building wala you know the cow wala it is over there so point is you derive the inspiration derive the concept from anything keep your mind open keep your eyes open and you can get it but architectural con this all aesthetic concept honestly but architectural con concept mainly comes right from the context of the site or the brief the client gives you this is another building we have done in uh chennai again now here it was abutting a 200 feet wide road so how to create an icon and how to really you know make a statement of your building which is you know on the beautiful road coming out so we tried with 108 feet high atrium this is a pitch actual picture i'll tell you you know you can see this 108 feet high atrium now this atrium so the 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 person enters from here there's a, this is called a bubble atrium like like uh, there was a small uh, because of the volume we wanted to create there is a small entrance lobby and then there's a large atrium from where there are uh this glass lift planking up and down going there so this building a statement is also created this way again this is an aesthetic of course but apart from that it is part of the structure it becomes a huge entrance lobby kind of an effect the volume created inside and it it creates a a, a good uh, i mean uh, a statement by itself then competition let me tell you sometimes we are scared of taking part in competitions especially when it is an international competition this project at dubai it was a kind of a close competition held by the client and he wanted to take us to give us some kind of a design which is different and there were some foreign architects some indian architects also 
to be part of it. This is Aura Marina on Marina, Dubai. This is an actual picture of the site. On the left hand side, this is taken from our building balcony. And this is what the Marina. Marina is a most landmark area, artificially created water body for yachts and the boating and all those facilities created there. We can see this natural, the curvature, the road which is passing by. And the right side is the marina water. This water is extracted right from the sea and used for yachts to be parked there. And they can go out onto the sea and use it. We tried to create this same marina as my concept. The marina water, as any water, creates ripples or we can say waves. This water ripples was transformed on the building by means of our decks or we call balconies, large balconies. I wanted to make this water ripple right from this water to earth onto the building and to be merged with the sky. Here we can see the actual picture how these water waves were created, how these balconies were created. On the right side is an actual thing. So by creating this, I wanted to create an organic structure. The whole concept was taken into that fashion. By giving this large decks, what we see here, it was a double height and single height decks created there. Due to the waves effect, we created alternate waves intersecting each other. So somewhere the deck was having a double height and somewhere it is single height. Double height was used as mainly winter deck. So they had a very good winter over there. And Right from October, November to February, they had a good winter. So they can use double height over there. And single height was used during the harsh summer. So by creating this water waves kind of an effect on the building, by means of a balconies and deck, we somehow able to form this. So the occupant can use whatever way, you know, during whatever their mood they can use in both ways either in summer or winter or double height or single height. So this was created and nice winter decks and sun, sun bathing was to be used over there for barbecues and relaxation and all those things. Here we can see the flow plan. Balconies and decks. The planning was also very difficult over there. Lower floor were having one bedroom, then two bedroom, and then by merging, we had three and then duplexes and all those things. This is a deck we can see, and here we can see the intersection of two decks. This is an actual picture. How the balconies, decks, and the waterways, how this intersection here, we can see double height. Here a single height. This is a, the waves effect we can see during night hours. Also the reflection, how it comes over there. On the right hand side is the code, code effect of the building. So this was in Dubai and it was a pure competition which we took part over there. We won it and when we gave the design to the Dubai municipality for approval also, they liked it very much and they said that they really want some kind of an asset to be created over there. This is the way yeah. we have done it. This is a again. So again to tell all of you the concept is derived right from the site. Here the site context was the marina water. We took that wave, we transformed it by means of balconies and decks which was taken upstairs. And this is a perspective handmade, we have done it. And the right hand side, we can see the actual buildings. This is another building 
we have taken up in Chennai, which we received an IIA award for excellence in architecture. You must be knowing in India, there are very few actual awards to be given to architects where a stringent scrutiny of your entry is to be done by more than 2021 20, architects over here, all leading architects of India. They were jury over here and they, they stringently went and checked up the design criteria, the concept and everything. Here again, the site was a very beautiful site. We can see Bay of Bengal over here. The site is here. And the back side, there was a backwater lagoon, which was called as a Buckingham Canal. This is a site condition. Again, we wanted to take advantage of the site and how to, how to take those beautiful views and how to how to take up the sea views as part of my design. Here we can see again the sea view, the backwater view, the building location, which was amazingly good. And this is the site what was given to us. The problem over here was that the site, due to the CRZ zone, it was a narrow site and again due to CRZ, we have to live, we can see 12 meters from the CRZ zone. And at the back side again, you know, there was CRZ high tide line. So we have to design our building within this. We have to consume the client's FSI. This was a builder's project. It client FSI to be consumed as well as we have to uh, take advantage of the fantastic location. Now, how to give this? So if I had done this regular rectangular building, so hardly I could have given some four or five rooms only the sea view and the rest would have been at the back side. So we tried with this type of angular. And then we finally developed into this where we can see most of the rooms or almost all the rooms were having sea view as well as they were having the rare lagoon view, which was very, very difficult to obtain it because of the narrow width of the plot and because of the CRZ implicated. I will show you the next slide. Yeah, sorry. Here we can see the sense of openness, like how the rooms are located and each and every apartment was almost 180 degree open. With the constraint of the site, with the narrow width of the plot, again, we, we tried to give this type of a solution, which has really come out very well at site. This is a site plan actual with the landscaping also complementing with our angular pattern of the design, the flooring pattern, everything goes in that lines. This is an actual floor plan, how it is taken. We can see the, 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 the orientation and especially the, the size and rooms and the, uh, the opening up on the both side of living, dining, somewhere, even the toilets, the toilets were getting the nice view where we have tried to take the whole window right to the bottom of the floor and, and given over there a, a, a bathtub or something, bathing area, so that they can enjoy a real sea view because of there was a full privacy and there was no building nearby. Here we can see to achieve the maximum view and the climatically, I wanted to give some kind of a natural shaded pattern. So the cuboids were, were juxtapositioned in such a way, here we can see, okay, this is my sketch, and here we can see the upper and lower floor were created a self-shading to avoid the, 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 the harsh weather of the Chennai as well as the glare of the sea 
this is created for that reason here we can see how the buildings are taken care of and how this is an actual image of the cuboids you know moving in and out and creating these balconies which are again shaded which is useful in that weather these are the actual views created because of this where all the rooms were getting this view the sun path was studied during whole hours how the building get a self shaded device uh, self shaded uh, 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 of the whole building onto the room and here this is a to avoid glare of the sea this was helping this way cross ventilation to all the rooms to almost practically each and every room and apart from sea view cross ventilation this is an angle design the club house merged with the landscape this is a picture now again an international competition which we have won for our indian embassy at maldives here i am not showing much of the design input but here also the concept was very different and it was a competition taken part by some 6 to 7 international architects and in that we have won and the project is very much on the final stage of approval and we are going to start immediately within some time same way this was another project for embassy in jeddah saudi arabia where it was very interestingly we have taken all our in indian heritage all our uh culture a uh, lot of uh, our, uh, our indian themes and that you know part of it because we wanted our indian architecture indian heritage to be an ambassador by means of our design into this embassy is a beautifully done up concept over there i will show you some slides how we derived the concept the site was clean neat square absolute square we wanted to use some of our vastu also because since it was a square i we want to take advantage of that which we converted into nine squares this nine square represents our, our no graha again my indian context which i wanted to transfer into a foreign land here we can see how opening out of the brahmastan was created in the center then as per the requirement we had a chancery chancery is their office area and there is a residence over there so we have created this kind of which is also useful for wind direction wind flow and all those thing and there were four squares created so how a site also can be can be uh, can be used you know for deriving a concept and how we can fit up our requirement and brief within that context itself this is how it was done the blue shows the chancery the yellow at the back is uh, the residence to be used by them and there were green areas and all the four side was a road we use indian context as our concept architectural fusion with indian and islamic architecture climate responsive design sustainable was very important thing we use some subsoil cooling system and everything over there and this is the way technology also was part of our design this are some of them on the right hand side we can see uh, how the moat water was taken because of the heat and weather and how the cool air was taken into the sloping walls the sloping walls that represent our indian fort over there there were jalis taken over there 
and how the cool air is then taken up and used. This is the way we have tried with this alternative. This is another project completed in six months, you know, by sitting in Mumbai, again a competition project in Maldives where they wanted a foot coat. So right from start to uh, inception to completion, it took only six months. It is all a combination of concrete and MS steel and metal and all this. Here we can see a completed photograph. Now we are designing a very interesting building, which is almost for the first time in India, looks like a twisted building. We can see on this left hand side, the perspective is a twisted building, but building is straight. The flows we can see on the right hand side becomes the effect of the twist. Why we have taken this? because the plot was abutting with the three side of a major road and some kind of a timeless masterpiece we wanted to create. This again was a competition project. Client invited some five to six architects from India. They were all leading architects and we have got this project. It is an absolutely simple, neat, clean structure, but it becomes a sculptural piece by giving its own statement how the building on, the, on an intersection of three major road should come out at any angle, anywhere you can see this twist. So this is the first twisted building. We are, plans are approved now. Immediately now we'll be starting the work. And this is the way this twisted building was created. As I explained to you, it is a futuristic, timeless, the twist of three degree at every flow, totaling to something 39 degrees of total, creating a sculpture in a cityscape, and by itself becomes a three-dimensional, with the rotation of the flow plate becomes a three-dimensional. So these are the some buildings which we wanted to show you. we wanted to explain to all of them okay, how a concept is derived right from the site context somewhere from uh, uh, keeping just your eyes and mind open and somewhere uh, you know by what we want to really give and this is the way we all try to uh, you know, solve the design problems how to start to design and how to come to a concept and the same thing is completed at the site but anything else, Nikhil? Any questions? Uh, participants who are interested for uh, like they have any queries, they can ask in the chat box. Yeah, uh, so the there's a few projects we have shown. But uh, they can go to our website and they can get some of the more projects for, you know, they can use. Uh, I'm receiving from Surbi. Yes, sir. There is a question uh, from Surbi, like uh, you have used glass in majority of your buildings. How do you propose to make it sustainable, considering today's yeah. need of sustainability? Yeah. This actually all the buildings, as I showed you, some of the buildings are glass. The glass itself, you know, is a highly uh, sustainable material. Why? I'm telling you by means of what. You can have E-value glasses where 95% of the ultraviolet uh, rays are being blocked. So that way the energy has been saved and that way, I'm sorry, low E-value glass and that way energy is saved, air conditioning is saved and the heat is not taken inside. So glass itself is a very, very good material. It is modern. It is futuristic. Of course, it is, uh, uh, you know, what we have not used, but it is one of the best material we can. 
And apart from that, within that, we can create a lot of things, not only glass, by means of uh, ventilations and a lot of things can be created and you can make a building sustainable by itself. Uh, there is a next question from Nandini Menon, like uh, what is your take on the current situation and what changes would you make to your designs considering the pandemic of COVID-19 and okay. social distancing? Very important. Now, actually, with the current situation, I think the whole, all architects, we have to look at the new design criteria also. Example, you know, I was just sitting at home, you know, working on some residential designs where the new, the, the new work, we will have to give it to the developers and builders, I'm talking about them first, is related to uh, the good planning, then use of uh, uh, work from home culture. Here we are working on a, uh, a zero wastage architecture, or I can say no waste architecture where the even internal walls, you know, six inch walls, we have tried to use within our furnitures or with our this thing and, uh, and, uh, and how to, uh, you know, use all uh, the, this thing by using very, very less wastage of uh, spaces in the building, in the flat. Also, with this COVID situation, social distancing, of course, outside for office and everything, we have to work out with interiors and designing that. But here, uh, for residences also, work from home, uh, a father will having his own space because, you know, they will be using video conferencing, a mother will be using, a child will be using. So there will be a special uh, spaces for work from home design. So we all have to go into that design. Uh, Ishita, next question is from Ishita. Uh, considering many of your projects have futuristic uh, curvilinear designs, were most of the curves created using segmented glass panels? Or did some of them have specially fabricated curve panels too? No, not necessarily required. You know, it is all segmented. You know, I mean, I tell you, we have designed a glass facade building something in 1995, I think, 25 years back. There were hardly any glass buildings coming up in India. There we had a facade which was curved and which were using a segmented sections that segmented mullions which are inside, you know, which are not exposed, can be used, you know. Uh, so, no need of having a, a cowed uh, glass panel because cowed glass is very, very expensive. And small segments as per the curvature can be created. And as I'm using more of a cows, you must have seen somewhere, like these are always told, okay, there is a 360 degree, then why we are restricting to some fixed planes. Curvature also gives lot of design statements to our building. So because of that, we are using mainly into that. Apart from that, the design itself becomes more of a fluidity, more of a, a, a liquid by nature, and, and it, 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 it gives a good concept by itself. <laughs> was two in the projects or it is up yes, to the client. Manveer, I will tell you it is up to the client. As of myself, I don't believe in Vastu. My own office is not Vastu, my residence is not Vastu, but by clients, they want it, so we give it. And apart from that, some of the clients, we have projects in South. Believe me, there, one of the projects, we had a 1500 flats or something, I think so. All, all the apartment were the vastu. So client is our big thing. We have to look at the client and, and only then we survive. You know, I mean to the survive by means of a profession. So we can do it if the client wants, otherwise we can avoid. Next question uh, is from Vimala. It's like, uh, like due to increase in the population growth and mm -hmm. apartment is the only choice as we know. So what you taken on it, sir, and possible alternative to apartment culture in current context? Huh. Hmm. Uh, apartments is going to come up. 
what we are we were seeing this into four metros has gone to eight metro cities now in the rural areas also slowly slowly apartment only will take up the sizes will be different in mumbai the real estate prices are very very high so the sizes you know in, in two bedroom with us to say 700 or 800 square feet we have to fit up in go to small towns it will fit up in uh, we can do in thousand square feet or more but apartment has to be done second thing why apartments because if you have a suppose if you have a large say uh, uh, say plot where you know the client want to put up a bungalows okay villas now you tell me the whole of the land is totally occupied by bungalows okay and the open space of green areas are left out is very very less and few instead of that you go for an apartment building and i would say go for tower structures you see the openness the green area surrounding is tremendous so a natural green area a natural oxygen is created everywhere and this is the way which will be really useful so future will be apartments especially in india because our population growth is tremendous and to house all of them we'll have to go for apartment culture and maybe with the high rises what is next uh, what space ratio you suggest indoor versus outdoor for any project so indoor versus outdoor no yes sir yeah see one second no i'm making some sketch over here that will be useful for me see for any i'm talking about the land and the plot the question is for plot or inside of a apartment i don't know what i'm talking about the uh, land now if you if you have a land over there i would say the plinth area the ground coverage area of a building should be not more than 30% and 70% should be kept open with nice beautiful landscaping lot of green areas a uh, lot of i can say we can go into depth of a landscape with a landscape architect and create some trees and and vegetations which gives huge oxygen now in today's covid the one thing we all realized oxygen matters a lot now this is how we can create lot of oxygen areas lot of green areas lot of landscaping areas so i proportionally think 30% to 70% should be the ratio 30 is constructed and 70 is open what uh, is this what is your opinion on bmc norms to be revised for open space uh, considering social distancing yes they will have to consider not for covid but otherwise also the bmc our our bylaws it is very unfortunate for architects like us it is not designed by architects they are not designed the i mean the design of the bylaws i mean to say they are not formed by architects they are formed by some engineers or some bureaucrats or some of this people they hardly know i'm sorry to say i'm not criticizing them but they hardly know what kind of culture we want to live in what is our the individual style of living in an apartment is in like suppose you go to suburbs now they have increased the fsi to 3 and 4 which they should have done it long time back so the bylaws with the open space with the social distance this lot of things have to be thought of and and, and 100% percent will have to use with today's situation how to take control of uh this covid in future or some kind of epidemic comes how to take control by this change of bylaws uh next question is from ishita she would like to ask like uh which is the better option a high rise apartment with a individual garden or terrace or a large open space at the ground level for everyone see there should be a large open space as i'm telling you 70% is a open space they should keep on the ground level with landscaping and the tower also they should allow open to sky terraces they should allow nice garden apartments i cannot show you here but we have done a project in chennai it's a beautiful project is somehow it is not able to start now where huge terraces 
ह्यूज ओपन स्पेस द अपार्टमेंट एरिया वॉज फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड स्क्वेर फीट द कवर्ड एरिया एंड द टेरिस इज वॉट थाउजेंड स्क्वेर फीट बिलीव मी टेरिस थाउजेंड स्क्वेर फीट एंड दिस इज द वे वी कैन क्रिएट अवर ओन ऑक्सीजन पार्लर इन फ्रंट ऑफ आवर अपार्टमेंट बाई क्रिएटिंग अ लैंडस्केप गार्डन ऑल्सो ओवर देर एज वेल एज एज अ लार्ज लैंडस्केप गार्डन एट द ग्राउंड लेवल so lot just imagine the greenery we creating the green space this is what the need of an hour for the next building where our 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 bylaws and our, our regulators have to look at it and give uh, this kind of concessions to create such buildings uh thank you everyone for your time and thank you sir uh, we have a very good and informative session for today yeah. uh some maitri is a maitri yeah so if a uh, participant you have more question to ask you can drop us on our mail id or whatsapp so we'll forward to the uh, sir yeah so thank you can visit our website you will get lot of or visit our instagram you get lot of sure sir thank you sir uh thank you very much thank stay you stay healthy yes sir thank you